What's up, Bugaboo? What's happening? I understand you got something special for us today. Hell yeah! It's Air Venturi Avenger! Holy crap, what caliber? 22, of course! So the Avenger is a gun that came out a year or two ago in the synthetic version. And everybody was so amazed with it. Everywhere you looked, everyone was talking about how great the Avenger was. And, uh, you know, I believed him, but I really didn't understand what they were talking about until now. You guys are going to see what I mean. This gun is phenomenal. There's the back. This gun is available in 177, 22 caliber, and 25 caliber. And this is what happens when you chase rabbits all day. And deer. And it's like 90 degrees out. 177 is going to hold 10 rounds in the magazine, 70 shots per fill, up to 1,000 feet per second, or 22 foot-pounds. Wow, you guys, I was not prepared for quite how awesome this is. This is strikingly beautiful. We've got a really, really deep black, awesome finish on that metal right there. Picatinny rail, loving that. And beautiful wood. Very sharp graphics, got a 22 caliber right there. And this is a heavy, nice, beautiful wood stock there with a big old butt pad on it. Yeah, look at this, you guys. A big old cheek piece. Swivel studs installed. Check out that stippling right there. Wow, this is so nice. So, Airgun Web TV, I was watching their review on this. Rick was saying that this is like, would be a good value at 650 bucks. But as it is, this version you're looking at here with the beautiful wood is going to be $429 right now. You can tune this gun up and down in velocity, but my gun came out of the box with a regulator set at 2900 PSI, which made it perfectly tuned to shoot 18.1 gram pellets at 890 feet per second. Nice metal rail down there, aluminum. Got a nice barrel band too, guys. That's the first uh, upgrade most people do. Of course, you got your shroud, and this is a cover that comes off we'll go over that and this right here is going to be threaded as well if you want to put a Donny FL on here but I'm guessing that since it's shrouded it's going to be quiet some more up close look at that beautiful wood you guys this thing's just finished awesomely Airborne Shuri knows what people want and those sharp graphics 22 caliber single shot tray preloaded they must have no, and that's what I use. And there's your dual rail, so you can strap right onto that 11 millimeter right there, or you got your 21, 22, whatever that is, full size Picatinny. Very cool. So I can use one of two scopes on this. This is a metal trigger, and I think a polymer trigger guard. But that's aluminum. We'll go over that in detail later. Looks like the trigger guard would come off easily, but it's got cutouts in case you want to just adjust your trigger on the fly right there. Yeah, there's some trigger adjustments right there. I'm sure your manual will tell you how to do it. But just beautiful wood all the way around. This has no flaws in it at all. That must be your regulator adjustment. Because you put the air in right here. 1 8 foster fitting. Quick disconnect so you don't have to have a fill probe or nothing. Also, you guys, check out how shiny this safety lever is. It's like, that's my camera reflected in there. It's all chromed out. This thing is just really finished well. This wood stock is one of the nicest I've seen. Seriously, there's nothing cheap about this. Wow, they really did a good job. And the back is a fully legit, pretty heavy butt pad, soft rubber. All right, you guys, all air guns and firearms for that matter come with preservative gunk in the barrel. So you gotta clean that stuff out. The best way to do this is upside down. Pull my single shot tray out. There we go. Whoa, guys, this is aluminum and magnetic. None of that plastic BS. That is nice. Full aluminum. Looks like it's going to be a two millimeter Allen key. Make sure it's all the way in there. There you go. So now if I simply spin this with my hand by hand. Yeah. A little bit of grease on the end of that but it's gonna come off 
Whoa, did you realize you have a snazzy serial number under there? Awesome. So here's my shroud, you guys, and it looks like this was in the end of it. So this goes in the front end. And I'm not sure, I'm not sure what this is right here or where exactly it goes, but, oh, it goes right there. Okay, it's, it's on there too, so that helps hold the barrel on. And then it screws in right over here. If you didn't want to do all, take your shroud off, you just put a straw down your barrel and you'll be able to slip that little guy right there, right through the straw, no problem. So this is not necessary, I just want to see what was underneath here. Now we know. So that's what the patch looks like before. And that's what I just got out of my barrel first swipe. So I'm going to do the rest of this off camera. But you guys see why you want to be cleaning your air gun. So this is pretty much how it went. One sign of a good barrel is that it comes clean on the first swipe. And so that's pretty much what we got out of there. And I think I, I pulled like a few more dry patches and called it good. So the way you put the single shot tray in is you just... Got that notch right there, you just slide that right over the barrel, drops right in, and it held in there with magnets. Whoa, man, what's that? That's a FX Boss, FX Boss 30 caliber field target edition. Look at that giant tank. Yikes. Anyway, I just got done shooting a dime size group at 75 yards with this, so I'm going to go ahead and take the scope off though, put it straight onto my Avenger. Wow, you guys, so apparently the only thing better looking than a wood stock Avenger is a wood stock Avenger with a scope. I'm just telling you what strikes me about this gun is the finish of the stock. See those round edges and those curves right there? Especially like right there. It's really nice, not to mention like the stippling and the grain and all that. Very nice, dark, deep finish. I mean, you can see right there the contrast. Me likey. 22 caliber, you're looking at 34 foot-pounds, up to 1,000 feet per second, 60 shots per fill, and also 10 rounds in the magazine. The 25 caliber, 8 rounds in the magazine, 900 feet per second, up to 45 foot-pounds, 24 shots per fill. The synthetic version sells for $349 and weighs 6.3 pounds. The wood version that we're looking at today weighs 7.3 pounds. Two-stage adjustable trigger, 300 bar fill, externally adjustable regulator, dual manometers, and a lot more. You guys will see we're going to get into all the features in this video. If you guys want one of these Hawkeye scopes, they come in a lot of different models. This is the Air Max series, and there will be a link in the description if you want to buy one. If you click through the link, anything you buy at Pyramid Air, I'll get 5% on, including... An Avenger. This trigger is fully adjustable. But here's how it comes straight out of the box. So you guys, we definitely got some wind going on. That's not going to stop the Avenger at 35 yards, is it, bugaboo? Hell no! He's right. So I'm set up over here at 35 yards away. Got my chronograph, and check this out. 18.1 grain pellets and 25.4 or 39 grain. That's weird. 872, so this thing looks like it's already tuned. Huh, weird. Because, yeah, that's what we want right there. So, 18 grain, shooting 890. Forget everything I just said. All right, you guys, we do have a lot of wind today. Probably like 7 or 8 miles an hour, I'd say, at least. Not how we usually do it here at Airgun Channel, but we're doing it anyway.
All right. Ha ha! Ha ha! Nah, I can shoot a group. Alright, you guys, darn it. Out of the box performance. I should have taken my time on that last one, but, uh,. Yeah, I was about to say through the same five through the same hole <laughs> out of the box, all right, five minutes later. So, but you know, we can still do that. I think I'm loaded. Let's see what happens. Getting closer. So, I didn't click all the way, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, so all we got to do. There it is. I, have it. I, could do, I could do one more click if I want to. So, wow, this is fun because, I mean, if I would have, uh, let's just say, paid $1,500, $2,000 for this gun, I'd still be pretty pleased right now. <laughs> okay, but this is $450. Bucks. Blowing bullseyes into another dimension. In the wind, you guys. Did that go through the exact same hole? I went through the same hole again. Are these pellets like disappearing into the fifth dimension or what? Okay, that's kind of impossible. There's no way that those all went through the exact same hole and I can't even tell. Okay, I don't know where the freak those pellets went, but I guess that is weird as heck, you guys. So seriously, I, I seriously don't believe my eyes right now, so let's try it on another bullseye. I mean, I did actually do that with my um, FX boss today, but it was a huge deal because it's the first time ever. Wow, you guys, it's laser time. Holy crap. I, I don't think I've ever shot a gun like this before that just goes through holes like this, the same hole. Whoa, you guys. Like, this is really happening. Holy crap. I can even get nervous. But yeah, that's crazy. It's even windy right now. Look at that wind flag, you guys. don't make a darn bit of difference. Holy heck, you guys, I could probably pick what part of the bullseye I wanted to hit, but I'm just going to still shoot for the middle. Wow, <laughs> that's pretty hilarious right there. Wow. So here's that group I shot earlier with the FX Boss at 35 yards. So guys, in slight wind, of course this is a 30 caliber pellet next to that hole. Look at this, you guys. I can't even fit the pellet through the hole. Now I loaded up some 25.4 grain FX pellets. These would basically be the equivalent to the 25.39 grain redesigns from JSB. At 35 yards though, Still capable of going through the same hole, even at 760 feet per second. Yeah, I could come over a teeny bit, but that's probably the wind, but let's just do it anyway. It's more like it. Well, that was the same hole again. So we're playing the same hole game again. Even in the wind. It's like I have to play this on slow motion just to see what happened. But we know it's not going anywhere else, you guys. This gun's amazing. That's a quarter inch bullseye right there. And without showing you this whole segment, it was drilling bullseye with a 25.4 grain.
Almost as good as the 18.1 grains. This thing's a bullseye killer. But yeah, guys, we're shooting right now with the uh, 25.4 grains heavies. I got these pellets off eBay, so if there's one that goes off, it's probably a, a bent one. I've never sorted pellets, but now I don't even look at them. Look at that. Gosh, this is so freaking awesome. And you guys see the wind flag, it's blowing around. <laughs> so we got eight mile an hour winds, we're at 35 yards, it's like a laser. So I gotta stop, I, I can't just use it in my pellets, I just keep doing the same thing here. So if these are shooting at, let's say 770, a little too slow, all you would do is go ahead and crank that regulator up until the 25 grain is shooting 890, and then you'll probably have the perfect accuracy with those as well. All right, you guys, we definitely got some sort of crazy situation going on here. So I'm not really sure what exactly is happening. Multiple hat wearing items and I think there's some bad guys and some good guys in here. But I'm thinking we just shoot now and then we'll ask questions later. So first things first, this duck should not have a hat on. Oh wow. Oh wow, let's get rid of this. No hats, bro. Alright, this could be a backward pellet. Oh my gosh, I glued that on too well. Took care of that. I don't like him at all. Looks like they didn't finish processing this apple. I'll help. Perfect, now it's ready for the grocery store. We'll see if that decoy still works without its head. Finish processing this apple. Perfect. Oh, we lost everything. Thirteen little one seven seven caliber head. Oh my gosh, that was extremely awesome. So this guy has a little robot machine stuck on the side. <laughs> you guys are like, holy crap, what'd you do, Nate? Don't worry. Baby, safe and sound, still cradled in the stormtroopers. Detached arm. You can't understand what I'm saying right now, but the stormtroopers kidnapped you and now you're going to be returned to your family. Alright, you guys. Different day. Same gun. Same ammo. And we are set up 51 yards away. Close enough. No, guys, I'm not about to shoot my dog. My dog is about to eat this rabbit right here. So this rabbit is right next to my uh, 
We're about to do some 50 yard accuracy testing and Mr. Rabbit decided to show up. I'm not gonna shoot him though. Look at his little bunny ears though. It's all cloudy in my scope. He's sitting there looking at my dog. <laughs> Wasn't tripping at all. Oh, look, he's he's ready for a headshot right there. There we go. Yeah, this guy's ready for a headshot. He's exactly like 40 yards away right now. And I was putting this through a 22 caliber hole. I put like four or five shots through the actual hole at 35, so. What's the wind report today, Bugaboo? Zero miles per hour in all directions. Seriously? Is that even possible? Hell yeah! Nice calm morning. We are probably at like 280 bar. Hey, you like that group, guys? Let's just do a group. I'm aiming for my... 35 yard hole right there. Ooh, that was weird. All right. And hit this thing right in the middle, you're gonna see a big explosion. Man, it's vaporized it. There was like apple juice in the air. All right, you guys, I'm gonna see about shooting a official group. Here we go. Wow, you guys, that was a nice five-shot group. So let me just click over a little more. Darn it, still haven't come over yet. You guys, I find this gun easy to shoot. Like, when I'm sitting here pulling the trigger, okay, it's not really like I have to hold it still. It is so solid in the rest. All you gotta do is just basically, I just sit there thinking about my trigger pull. Pull that trigger, goes right in. Okay, I'm gonna click two more clicks. Got a couple fly flies on that one. Wow, this thing holds groups, guys. I mean, it's either going to go in the through, through the same exact hole at 50 yards or in a dime-sized group if you're, if you're not doing well. <laughs> Chicken went down. The entrance wound was bigger than the exit wound. That's not typical. Maybe on hats. There's my groups right there, and I've got some targets. There's a penny. Okay, I got a fresh thing of air. Yep. This is too easy. This is like a nickel size lid. Oh, that looked like it might have even broken the glass.
Oh man, that thing exploded. So let's go do some FX 25 grain. That was a shotgun shell, that thing that I couldn't see, and I love shooting shotgun shells. Empty, of course. That's why they go all over the place. I'm gonna hit him at the bottom. Oh, I should have hit him in the middle. All right, let's get to some fresh stuff right here. Here we go. The 25.39 grains did not do as well at 50 yards, but that's just because it was still shooting 760 feet per second. Obviously you would need to increase the pressure on your regulator to get the speed on your 25 grain pellets going to full 890 feet per second and then I'm sure they'll shoot just as good as the 18 grains were. Check this out you guys, now I'm set up at a very special way far away. Seventy-seven yards away. Call it seventy-five. And it is getting a teeny bit breezy. It's getting a little bit breezy, huh, Bugaboo? Hell yeah! Eighteen grain. Alright, we're on the paper. Aim small, miss small. Dang, nice group. Unfortunately, I didn't have my no limit scope rings on here at the time, so I had to use a three or four mil dot holdover. Even so, I was able to shoot this group on just my third try. Guys, I think we just shot a dime-sized group at 75 yards. Awesome. This one was totally my fault because I got my mill dots mixed up. It was a total bummer. Oh, shoot. You know what? I was aiming at the wrong spot that last one. Definitely this gun is going to do dime size and nickel size groups at 75 yards. So this right here is my five shot group at 75 yards and then I shot two more at the end. So this is seven shots at 75 yards. Alright you guys, that's it for me on this one. I'm going to wrap it up here. I really appreciate you guys tuning in. I want to thank Air Venturi for sending this gun my way to review. As you guys can see, final thoughts on this gun. All I can say is wow. Really amazed me. So basically it turns out that one of the most accurate guns I've ever shot on Airgun Channel is also one of the most affordable. So I'd say if you don't have one of these, definitely grab one. And if you're looking for a first PCP air gun, no better choice. Alright guys, everybody stay safe out there. Happy shooting. We'll see you on the next one.